Gen X. I have done an article on Gen Z and speculating on that being the zombie generation and how they seem to have it in society. But this one will be for Gen X, the last vestige of an upbringing and attitude that no longer exists, but the product of it does. Us. The Xers. And recently I've watched an American woman do a couple of funny shorts, answering random internet people who ask, are Gen Xers okay? And didn't y'all have access to sinks when you were a kid? Why drink out of the hose? Well, her response nails it to me. And although done in a funny, punchy and humorous way, the truth in what she responds with is great. With classic timing and delivery, summing up, literally, some people's childhoods, home life, upbringing and influences in a very concise and hilarious manner. Being locked out of the house all day, forgotten about by parents, had to feed yourself for the day, fend for yourself kind of thing. And if you are one of those drink out of the hose kids, you possibly know what she means. I've written briefly about escapades of childhood in The Hay Bale Incident and of a time before technology in The Before Time, but I guess hadn't fully appreciated the effects of those times on people and how it creates a certain attitude amongst an entire generation, mostly. There will always be the ones who didn't, or who can't relate to that at all, and within it there will be those who had extra weird childhoods, as their parents weren't very good at even looking after themselves, let alone kids. But the toughened attitude that many in that age group now present can't be entirely by accident, can it? Maybe the ones from the 70s and 80s were meant to be the forgotten generations, the ones who fell through the cracks during recessions, financial collapses, and whatever crisis they could manufacture to keep it as they wanted, giving them an extra hammering now, and including the millennials as they will also be the ones with children, mortgages, and businesses. The boomers having retired, and Gen Z not quite able to get involved, and looking as though they will be locked out of ever having the opportunities we did. And it might seem like progress to think they get all new ones, and if it was anything positive and inspiring being pushed for the future, I would be behind it. It does not appear to be the case though, and if they don't know any different, does it matter? Being resilient and practical and being able to fend for yourself aren't traits that everyone has, or has even retained into adulthood if they did need to be a bit more savvy back in the day. Not all are able to get through childhood and life completely unaided, and despite appearances, many have their scars, emotional and physical. Understanding what made you who you are was often a product of someone else's failure, distraction or circumstance. Lives overlapping and intertwining as we all end up sharing a certain space and time, whether we get on or not, or like each other or not, or can even relate to each other or not. Here we all are. But in the latest twist in society, it would seem that having those traits or the extra behaviours that followed on from them was not entirely foreseen. Or maybe they were, and that is why there is such a push to make people believe they need a label and a medication that inevitably follows. To be convinced you are a problem, the problem, and it needs to be fixed. Because otherwise, we might have all spotted sooner that society is the problem, and how it has been set to work. It's anyone's guess whether there are really generational differences that are so easily defined by when you were born or what you were taught. But if there wasn't, it makes me wonder why they would spend so much time and energy separating us all out and making sure we have different societies to grow up in. That no decade can be like the last, constantly changing things and keeping it all up in the air, and never actually progressing, just the illusion of it.